Hey golf people, I've got a new package set of clubs. This is the Wilson Profile. It's a men's set, but it comes for ladies. There's also a junior version of this set. It's a 10 piece set. You've got the driver, three wood. It's actually a five wood and a funny story. So stay tuned. Five hybrid, six through sand wedge and a putter. And I'm gonna see if I can take this guy on for three holes here. Think you can beat me? You know, I'm like a plus three with my handicap. I'm <laughs> that good, you know, so you, there's no chance. But you know, we'll see. Maybe I'll take it easy on you. Wade's gonna be playing about a $2,500 <laughs> set of clubs and this is <laughs> just under $300. We'll see if it can stand up and uh, if we can actually take him down. Oh man. Would that hurt? It, it, it hurt a lot actually, you know what I mean? <laughs> now a couple things I noticed off the bat. First off, it comes with this bag, which is very cool. And what I like about it is it's also like a hoofer bag. So it's got that nice little stand-up function. I think walking is the best way to play golf and the best way to get into the game. And uh, I love that it comes with a stand bag there. In terms of the clubs themselves, the looks are definitely a little bit chunkier than I'm used to, even chunkier than some of the other package sets I've used. But that does spell forgiveness, we think. The driver has a very whippy type of shaft to it. I can't tell you how many grams these shafts are or anything other than the fact that it says men's shaft on it. So I'm not exactly sure. They definitely feel like regular or maybe even a little less than regular stiffness. Um, but the driver definitely has a little bit of play to it. <laughs> Certainly a lot more than I'm used to, but I did hit a couple straight ones out on the range. So we'll see how we do on course. All right, so first hole here is a par five, not a huge one. It's even gettable in two, but it's kind of tight because you got some houses there on the left. You got some trees and bunkers on the right. So let's see what we do here with this driver. Off to the right a little bit. I'll tell you what though, it flew well. It flew well. I wouldn't say near, it's not nearly as long as no. my club but uh, it did get up in the air pretty good yeah it did I, I think it now normally good. my shot shape is a bit of a draw that one actually kind of faded a little bit maybe it's because this shaft is very whippy I'll, other thing i will say about the shaft is it seems short here's wade's driver right here oh boy it is <laughs> it's Look definitely so and that's a standard that's a standard length driver yeah so this is definitely a couple oh inches goodness, shorter that might... that's not necessarily a horrible thing in fact it gives you a little bit more control we saw that with the cobra driver i tested this year that was tour length Ricky Fowler plays a driver that's cut down an inch, so that's not necessarily a bad thing, but just wanting to know what it is. That's nice. Man. Good ball. All right, I got a bit of a tough start here. Let's see if we can thread the needle with these clubs because I've got to go right through this little row of trees. And if I do, can advance it out maybe about 100 yards or so, we should have a short iron back in. Maybe save par here, so wish me luck. I'm going six iron here. Come keep it low. Don't want it to go too far. Because if it goes too far, it goes into those trees back there. Little window. See how accurate these clubs are. Oh, oh he hit right through the window. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's perfect. Hey, sometimes you get that's lucky. That's a good shot. Oh, great shot. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. 144 to center, say if the car, it looks like a back pin. Now, I'm gonna be honest, Gabe, I don't think that this is your normal, like, uh, nine iron with the Sim 2s. I think you <laughs> no. might need a little stronger club with these Wilsons. I think you're right. We're okay. gonna go eight iron here. We do have the wind behind us, so we should be able to get there. But let's see how it gets up in the air off a tighter lie here. Woo, that looks pretty good. Year flag hunting, baby. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I found the front of the green. <laughs> All right, man. Go, go Team Wilson. Definitely a little shorter, but probably more of a traditional loft in these. Um, but right. man, that was right at it. Yeah, that was a great shot. He's okay, going to have about, I don't know, 65 yards max looking right at it. Let's see what he does. I think it's perfect time right now for a thin bullet over the green. <laughs> he is the master of that shot. Rick Shields, eat your heart out. That's chunked and short. Oh, that's got to go. Get going. Well, good line though. All right. This is absolutely a no frills putter here. We've got an answer style putter. Again, the shaft seems just a little shorter than what I'm used to for some reason. Um, the grip, I would call that kind of a medium grip. It's actually a better grip than that comes in that Cobra set. 
Not quite as good as the grip on the Odyssey putter in the Costco set though. I've got a birdie putt here. Wade's laying four. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm laying four. I'm laying, what, three? So one stroke advantage, you got a birdie putt here. Looks like 20 feet uphill left to right. Wade will get a good read off of my putt. Oh, it's gotta go. Whoa, yeah. Uh-oh, that was a terrible putt. That was not your finest, my friend. <laughs> That was an absolutely god-awful putt, and uh, it did not feel good either. It felt like I was putting with a brick. The door has opened. Nice stroke there. Get in. Okay, oh. that's a gimme. Get in. Get in. Oh! oh my yeah, yeah, but you did there. But that's two putts I actually left short because there's something about that doesn't pop off the face, like putters I'm used to, that's for sure. There's no pop at all. You're gonna have to stroke this a little harder than normal. Well, Wade, I think escaped there. Let's be honest, Gabe. Uh, we just just uh, bogeyed a short par five. That's not a yeah. That's not that's a. Not too good. You're right. In the grand scheme of things, not a really a great way to start. So no. But I will say uh, there was a good looking iron shot. Um, the driver, we'll see if we can do a little better here. And the putter definitely leaves a little bit to be desired. But let's check it out on hole number two and see what we can do. By the way, no head cover for this putter. Probably gonna be a little bag chatter back here. Um, that's kind of a miss for me. I'd love to see a head cover. Hole number two here. This is a shorter par four. However, it's kind of a tricky hole. You've got a big clump of trees here out on the right. Dead straight away is some bunkers and they're definitely in play at 245 yards out is what Wade just punched it at. This is also one of these where like the tee box you can see, it just tries to mess with your face and push you right into the trees. So yeah. it's like you gotta yep. kind of overcome that. Oh, get through, oh, get through. Leaking. Everything's leaking. Yeah. Hey, and trust yep. me, I know a lot about short shafts. <laughs> That's scent. That's beautiful. Hugging the corner. Wow. Oh, right in the nice. middle. Nice. Cut the corner out in the middle. That was primo. We got through that somehow. I didn't think that was going to happen. Okay, so. All right, one. I feel pretty good about that one. I got away with one there. 134 to the flag. Normally, that's like a pitching wedge for me. Again, with this set, definitely not hitting it as far as my normal club. So we're going to go nine iron here. Oh, I like this Lucky shot. Good Be the distance. It's not drawing though. It's way a little short. short. It's way short. Okay. Definitely not getting the distance with these clubs. Well, and you're, you're gonna have to adjust because you know, your normal beautiful draw, these are going pretty straight. And I think yeah. it's, wouldn't you think it's the shaft? I think it's the shaft. Yeah. But it is a men's shaft. You, know, you don't have a lot of options. All right, let's see what Wade can do. Doors open for Wade again here. Oh, I pulled it, Tugged. didn't I? Oh my you goodness. You can see your divot there. Okay. Yeah. Holy smoke. Well, we're gonna have a chipping contest. Good chance to take oh, out I... the wedges here. Now, not a bad looking sandwich here, actually. Kind of the old school rounded look to it. I actually kind of like that. I've got to come right up over a hump here. Okay. So it's got to land soft, see how the grooves do. A little long, but he's up. Yeah, kind of hit it a little bit. A little higher, a little on the higher face than on I'd the like face. to be. Okay, Wade's got a good chance here. He's uh, got a much easier chip than me. A lot of green to work with. Let's see how he does. Pretty good. Oh, oh boy. wow! It checked up. That, that one checked. Did. Checked hard. Break, Shatter. Come on. Break, boy. And the speed too, huh? All right, two bogeys in a row. Wade's got a real good chance here. He puts this putt in. He's one up. Uh, whoa, good try. A little more break. So after two holes, we are all square. That one's good by me. In terms of how the clubs are performing so far, they're fair. I would say fair. Not amazing, but for the price, definitely better than I thought they would. In terms of like durability, I think that's yet to be determined. Um, they look pretty good though. They look pretty solid. Just not flying quite as far. And the shafts, I don't think necessarily the right shafts for me, but... Usually I can make some adjustments and make just about any shaft work. All right, what's the strategy here for you, Wade? So uh, to not hit in the water, that's the first one. But yeah, it's like you, I think you said, it's such a risk reward hole, like how much do you want to bite off? And I'll tell you that I've gotten myself burned a lot going 
you know what, I can just swing for the fences because it's going to just slice like crazy. And it does that, but the problem is when it does it, it usually ends up going in the water because there's just too much spin. Bottom line, my, my goal is usually to aim for there's a blue house straight ahead and, and let that natural fade peel off to the right. Then you just have a nice little pitch in that you ideally just scull over the green uh, <laughs> and then duff a, a chip short and then get on and then tap in for double bogey after a couple putts. <laughs> it sounds easy. I always tell you it's an easy game, right? With that new driver, you might drive right into the house. Yeah. Like that That's might be like stuff. I could have bit more off, couldn't I? Definitely. All right, I'm gonna go three wood here because I want to test the three wood and because oh. I think a driver would definitely be too much club. I could go right through the fairway. Same line as weighted. I'm gonna go pretty much right at that blue house. Whippy, very whippy. Strange shape to it too. Whoa, that went very high. That is like a nine iron height. It's okay though, it's safely over. It's actually a good spot. <laughs> I don't know if that picked up on the camera though, it went so high. This three wood does not even list the degree of loft, so I have no idea. But that went very high. And kind of looking down at it, I would say that is... Wow, well, I, mean, I don't know, it's like gotta be like... 23. <laughs> it looks like it's in the 20s. Yeah. Uh, three wood normally is like, what, 14 to 15, 16 yeah. maximum? That's gotta be 20s. It's gotta be. So that, that's definitely a, a five wood as of with a five W. So no, that explains the loft on it. It fairway. says fairway wood. I just assumed it was a three wood. It's not, so never assume. You don't usually ever see a, a set that goes one to a five wood yeah. to a hybrid. That's right, I wasn't expecting that. That threw me okay. for a loop. All right, well, we are 0 for three in fairways hit here, but I've got a pretty easy shot. It's a short one. Uh, the cart's telling me 106 to the middle. That's a white flag, so it should be. We'll make sure it is. The key here is can we get these clubs through the rough? Because I have not so great a lie on this one. And uh, let's see how it does. Now, one thing to note, the pitching wedge really has no cavity. Quite a big cavity when you get to the 6-iron, 7-iron, things like that. But there's almost nothing here with the pitching wedge. Oh, it's up high. Go, uh, looks like it'd be a great shot. Okay. Yeah. All right. We All got right, a birdie putt. Action. Birdie putt. That's our second birdie putt of the day, so we can't be complaining that much, right? Yeah, one of these good awkward distances. Right? I hate Sim 2. That's what it does to you right through the fairway. Wade's got about the same lie as I have, but kind of an awkward distance. Oh, it's got to go. I think yeah, it's okay. It's all right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That'll there work. You. How are you feeling, boss? Oh, I, I've never felt better in my life. This is just going right in the hole, and you're going down. Whoa! Oh. This is for the win here. It's for the win, brother. Oh! Oh, that's got length. That's got room, man. I might have to see you putt that because <laughs> it's so bumpy. Yeah, nah, we're good. No, I gotta putt that. You gotta putt it. All right, putt it out. This is a good test of if I can hit a straight putt, you know? So I don't, this is over. Never a doubt. Never a doubt. Dang it. Never a doubt. No. We're going to extra holes here. We got a par three coming up. Yeah. So let's see if we can, we can answer the call. Moment of truth here in extra holes, 131 to a back flag. I'm gonna go eight iron because I'm coming up really short here. I don't think I can get there with my nine iron. But Wade's up first, he gets to apply the pressure. I'd like to hit a pitching wedge, but we're gonna hit a nine iron. I wanna make sure I try to get one right back there. Just... Oh, you look at him, he's, he's, using out, he's using his two club lengths to come back here on the tee box. Yeah. Oh, it's a good looking shot. He's gonna catch some green. Yeah. Oh, it's over. Oh, I'm over. You animal. It almost seems crazy that I'm about to hit a 131 shot with an eight iron, but I'm gonna take a nice easy swing. And they've all been coming up short, so how bad could it be? Imagine if I got a hole in one with this club. Oh, please do it. Looks good. You're in Pretty play. Good. You're you're better shape than me, brother. Oh, it's on the green. Better than Looks me. Looks pin high. I mean, honestly, for as not amazing as the woods feel the irons perform pretty well definitely not going so far but i've got three out of four greens in regulation and i've had three reasonable chances at birdie this is definitely my best chance right here 
I'm pin high and uh, looks like I've got about eight feet. Wade's gonna have a tough shot over here in the bunker. I'd like my chances. Wade, you feeling the pressure, dude? Yeah, boy, this is a weird lie. There's no grass under the ball here. It's Nothing. Tough shot. Oh, that's a golf shot. Settle. Yeah. No, buddy. He's got a putt back at it. I mean, I'll take that all day, you know? I'll yeah. take that all day for a Great chip. shot. Tell you what, Wade, Wade's short game has really improved quite a bit. I mean, it could only really go one way though, right? <laughs> <laughs> if you're a fan of this show and you've been watching for a while, you've probably seen some four putts, maybe five putts. Yeah. There was one in Dubai that almost cost us the match at night. Uh, I think it almost cost us our friendship at one point. <laughs> <laughs> it could have. All right. All right, let's see what you got, buddy. Let's uh, talk about spin here with these clubs. Look at this thing, it's impacted. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> didn't get much uh, spin or anything on that. Just stick stuck right there. Get in the hole. All right, I got to make it. Bam! Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> dude, buddy. Oh, I, sh I should actually be really mad right now because I just got beat with a... <laughs> you got beat with the Wilsons? With the Wilsons. All right, guys. Well, there you go. Finally, the putter came to talk, and right at the perfect moment, we've got ourselves a win with the Wilson set. Man. Overall impressions, for the price, not bad. Definitely not bad. I'd have to get used to these whippy shafts, so if you've got a high swing speed, you're not going to like it, but if you're a little older, if you're a newbie and you're not swinging it so fast, you're probably going to like that, actually, because it's going to give you a little help. In terms of the irons, definitely shorter than what I'm used to as well, but they got up in the air, and I cannot complain. Three out of four greens in regulation. I've had some birdie putts today. One of them finally dropped. So all in all, I'm going to go ahead and give this set a three out of five. I mean, for the price, that's about as good as probably it gets. <laughs> I got to ask you, so how would you rate this compared to some of these other like budget value sets that you've uh, reviewed? Ah, I'm happy he asked. I've got another video of a set that you should check out right here. And very soon on the channel, we're going to be putting together an entire video on best box sets. So stay tuned, hit subscribe, and I'll catch you back here very soon on another edition of Let's Play Through.